Hello everybody, Incon here talking about the Sun Wukong vs. Gab matchup in lane. So we're gonna get this right off started. At level 1, you're grabbing your cudgel, of course. Against Gab, you are by far going to have the lane dominance. You're going to use your cudgel on the wave. Boom, not only does it hit the entire wave and do quite a bit of damage at level 1, it also does a little bit of a knockback, which stops the minions from attacking. So at this point, the best Geb's going to do is walk up to the middle of the wave and use his knockback. If he hits you with it, your NPCs are going to be attacking him, get some damage on him. The archers are going to be like, pew, 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 pew. And they're going to do quite a bit of damage to him. You get free damage that way. What you can look to do, if you wish, is to get some harass off with your cudgel. You have to be a little bit careful because it will pull the minions on you. But typically, the enemy support is going to be clearing from right around here. Right? He's a Gab. He's standing pretty close to the wave. You come up to the wave and you smack it to the side. So you're hitting the melee creeps and him, but you're typically not hitting the archers if you're going for the Geb. Another thing you can do is you can look to harass the ADC. If the ADC want a blue stone build, they're not doing a death toll build, then harassing them is a great idea. In which case you want to hit the archers plus the ADC. So you're going to be going once again from the side to hit the, min uh, the archer minions plus the hunter. Like I said, you got to be a little bit careful doing this early because this will pull the minions onto you uh, and they will do more damage than you harass if you're not careful. But they have a blue stone transcendence one start Shibalanke. Well, you better be ready to get some harass on him. So he's standing right over there. He's trying to clear the wave. You go, jablam! You smack him and the archers. Uh, archers are the most important to be hitting. Always hit the archers if you can over the melee minions. The melee minions are not nearly as important. So... While we're playing against the Geb, this is one of our matchups where we want to play really aggressive. So this is a matchup where we're most likely going to be getting one point in each of our skills, okay? As we clear the wave with Wukong, bada bing bada boom, we clear the wave, we harass him right at the same time. The Geb came up to clear the wave with a shock wave. We want to tiger form the Geb. You tiger form the Geb, get an auto attack or two off, wait to slow, don't slow yet. The Geb is going to have his shield if you immediately slow, when he shields himself, it's going to take off the slow. If you go to harass him, you tiger form him, you auto attack him once, he's going to panic hit his shield, okay? Panic hit his shield, then you slow. This will not, now you have a full two second slow to get extra damage off with the potential for a kill. If you use it earlier, he's going to remove the slow and he's going to walk away and he's going to be just dandy. That's important. Of course, if you're playing Wukong looking for the kills, I recommend playing with an aggressive ADC in this case. You're looking at your Ulers, you're looking at your Neaths, Soul, etc. Not a passive ADC. Because you're playing aggressive, rank up, of course, your 72 transformations first. At rank 2, this is doing 170 damage, plus your blue stone procs and all your skills. Your full skill set right now is doing upwards of like 400 damage. Uh... It's absolutely insane. You combine that with an Uller rotation. If that Uller has blue stone 2, doesn't matter who they are. They are dead at level 3 and 4. So a reminder, hit him with the cudgel. Get the archers if you can. If you want to grow up and play aggressive, you smack him with the tiger form. Make sure the archers are cleared. Wait for the Geb to shield. And then go ahead and use your slow after he shields. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you learned something today about playing against Gab and Sun Wukong support. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe and look out for more videos this week. And as always, have a twitching day, y'all.